First pill to treat COVID-19 will begin arriving in just days. Local doctors say it is desperately needed as Omicron cases surge and other treatments fail against the variant. Good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson and I'm Lindsay Pena. Today, the FDA gave Pfizer emergency authorization for its oral antiviral Paxlovid. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain why it works when other treatments don't. The demand for monoclonals is through the roof. Actually, we were coming in in the morning to 300 voicemails or so of people wanting to be treated. Dr. Christian Ramers runs the antibody treatment clinic at Family Health Centers of San Diego. For months, these infusions were the most effective treatments against severe COVID. But only one monoclonal antibody drug still works against Omicron, and it's in short supply. The federal government now is, is controlling the distribution of that, um, and we have only a fridge or so left, about a week and a half of supply. And we're having to now triage to really the, the sickest and most high-risk people that are only getting treatment now. So if you're vaccinated and you're young without risk factors, you probably won't get a monoclonal. And that's why doctors across the country are eager to get their hands on Paxlovid, the nation's first oral antiviral for COVID-19. It's given as three pills twice a day for five days. Among high-risk patients, it cut hospitalizations by 88%. I see the Pfizer pill as a major advance uh, in terms of, of an important tool for us. UC San Diego's Dr. Robert Schooley says most antibody drugs have failed against Omicron because they target the spike protein on the virus's outer shell, and that's heavily mutated in the variant. But Pfizer's pill targets something else, an enzyme the virus uses to cut and copy itself, making the drug much less susceptible to variants. By doing that, people who are infected can prevent the virus from being amplified within them and cause disease. But you have to get to people early after their infection begins to have the maximal effect. The pills have to be taken within five days of symptoms, and to get them, patients will need a positive coronavirus test and a prescription from a doctor to ensure that people aren't taking another drug that might interact with Paxlovid. That extra layer of administrative bureaucracy, could that pose a challenge? It's absolutely going to be a challenge. Dr. Raymer says the biggest challenge might be finding a coronavirus test, which is hard to come by. The pills will not be available to everyone. Patients must be 12 years or older and have a high-risk condition like cancer, diabetes, lung disease, or obesity. If you're vaccinated and you have a mild infection, you probably don't need this at all. And if you don't have any risk factors, you don't need it either. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Pfizer says it will deliver enough pills for 65,000 Americans within a week with another 200,000 treatment courses arriving in January.